I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro, a past president of the North American Menopause Society, and I'm joined with my colleague who also is a past president of the North American Menopause Society, Dr. Stephen Goldstein. Steve, you're a professor of OB-GYN at NYU, and you also uh, know a lot about gynecological ultrasound, co-director of bone densitometry at NYU. So for our women that are out there who are having symptoms of hot flashes and night sweats, there is a new medication that's on the market that's different than the traditional medication that we've used. It has a funny name called a TSAC, and I, and I, I don't know that most patients will well, care about that, but why is it different? Yeah, I mean, it, that just stands for tissue-specific estrogen complex. They needed to give the concept a name. What I like to tell my patients is this is not your mother's hormone therapy. Okay. We have given hormones to women with a uterus. They need estrogen with some sort of progestogen. And the Women's Health Initiative taught so let's, us. So let's stop. I'm, I'm a woman in your office. I don't know what a progestogen is. What okay. is that? Well, your body, when you were younger, you know, before you were menopausal, you make estrogen for two weeks, then you ovulate, then you make progesterone for two weeks, and one of God's givens is 14 days after ovulation, you will get a menses. When you replace estrogen in a menopausal patient, you must balance it with some progesterone okay. because otherwise a small number of people will get endometrial or uterine precancers and cancers from estrogen by itself. So how is this different than that headline news that scared a lot of women about using hormones? Let's say I'm in your office as a woman and I, you know those headlines still stick with me. So you used a word that we need to break down, which is hormones. Mm -hmm. There is no such thing as estrogen. There are estrogens. There are different types of estrogens. And the estrogen used in that study that scared all those people was the specific one that comes from pregnant horse's urine, which may sound funny, but it's got so many different constituents in it. Um, <clears throat> there was a parallel study where women took that drug by itself because they didn't have a uterus. They had, had a hysterectomy, so they didn't need any progesterone to protect the uterus against those precancers and cancers that we talked about. And when women took that kind of estrogen by itself, they actually had less breast cancer, less breast cancer death, and less heart disease. So clearly, the bad guy was the progesterone, not the estrogen in that study. And so what this new concept is, it takes that estrogen, which clearly did good things, and found a different way to protect the uterus against the precancers and cancers by using a whole new concept of drug called SERM, S-E-R-M, Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulator. So it's not an estrogen, but it works on estrogen receptors. Exactly, and so, there are many so of them why, out there. Why is a woman, would that matter to me? Why, why well, is this because be I can now protect, well, all of the SERM drugs, the, the cousin of the one used in this product, is actually approved for breast cancer prevention. All of the SERMs are anti-estrogen in breast. They're good drugs for breast. So now I'm taking an estrogen, which showed that it reduced breast cancer in women who took it without progesterone, and I'm, ta I'm protecting the uterus with a SERM drug, which is also an anti-estrogen in breast. So this is a much safer way. It results in less bleeding. It's approved for reducing the hot flashes and the night sweats, preventing the bone loss that causes osteoporosis mm -hmm. in menopause, but it is going to not cause the bleeding that we often see with traditional hormone therapy. And I'm telling you this drug will reduce breast cancer risk. What I can't tell you is how much might it reduce it because that study wasn't done. But when you look at the science in experimental animals, it reduces breast tumors. So good news for women who are coming to see their physicians to have a new product on the market to put into the mix in terms of treatment. It's great news, but one of the problems is the constraints of the FDA labeling process. Because if I have one more mammography doctor who tells one of my patients on this new concept, are you crazy to take hormones? Mm -hmm. Because they don't understand it, they don't know the science, they haven't been taught. So I tell these patients, you tell that doctor, this isn't your mother's hormone therapy. Thank you so much.